Estonia plays host to the seventh rally on the WRC's global tour. Thursday night, an early triumph for Craig Breen, out of town at the Tart 2 Super Special. But on Friday morning, the Irishman was our first casualty. He steered, that Puma didn't. He missed a fast left hander, his suspension broke. Kalarov and Pera clattered a rock in stage two, but Kala being Kala, he got away with it. An escape worthy of Seb Ogier. Pierre-Louis Loubet is now in ninth place. He dropped three places on the tiny final stage. Spectators helped him back on the road. He's going to have to climb back up that leaderboard from here, all on his own. Oitanak hauled himself into third place on the first stage of Friday morning, but progress from there was tough, and at one point nothing he tried seemed to work. Oit not only had to deal with the rain, but get his co-driver, Martin, to kick the screen vent back into place. Elvin Evans slipped down to second place on the final stage on Friday, six of the wettest and worst kilometres he's seen this season. And when Elvin dropped over 20 seconds at the close of day one, you know who, Kalarov and Pera, slid by. Saturday, and in fifth place, Takamoto Katsuta, whose ambition was to finish this rally, something he's not managed before after four attempts. A lonely day for Thierry Nerville in fourth, he climbed a place when Esapeka Lapping had to pull over to change a wheel in the morning, and in fourth, he stayed. But Nerville will have to break the dominant Toyotas. First, there's Elvin Evans. He tried consistently to chip away at the lead, but he only won one stage all day Saturday, the very first one. Kalarov and Perra led on Saturday, no surprise there. His stage win tally for the day now into double figures. No surprise there, shocking that he should think such dominant speed is quite normal. The boy wonder was living up to his name. Estonia's wet weather made its move again on Sunday as Tartu prepared for the end of rally power stage. First into the final 16 kilometers had been the WRC2 contender Andres Mikkelsen. The rain had yet to tumble, so his early time brought victory in the support category and three bonus points from the power stage bonus points. In third place, Tanak. A push for bonus points. Tanak was thinking he might need some oars and an outboard motor. But by the time Oit finished, the rain had stopped and he had let any bonus points slide away. The last time Elvin Evans faced a flooded stage in this shape was Friday when he lost lots of time and that rally lead. He couldn't let that happen again. Elvin made his second place stick and added four bonus points. No surprise about the winner, only the way in which he finished. Rov and Perra took to the mud bath of a final stage without fear. He clocked his 13th and best stage win of the weekend. An emphatic drive taking 22 seconds out of teammate Elvin Evans over the 16 kilometers. Even by his standards, a contender for best drive this year. It was great again. Big thanks to Yonne, it was a difficult weekend. We, we drove really well. Thanks to the team also, everybody are making the cars fast and uh, fast and tough. We made a really big job on the test to make the car comfortable here. And uh, also big thanks to Akio. It's, uh, it's great to be in the team and we are doing a great job. So thank you and we continue to push forward. Season's victory number five for the 21 year old. And by just over a minute, Evans and Tanak trail behind, then Nerville and Takamoto Katsuta just behind them. Esapeka Lappi finished the weekend in sixth. In the championship, Rovan Perra increases his lead to an unbelievable 83 points. That's over Nerville with just six rallies this season remaining. Evans moves up to third place with his third second place finish of the season. Toyota increased their lead to 87 points over Hyundai in the manufacturer's title race. M Sport Ford are in third place. WRC Plus, all live.